Welcome to our notes and lectures for SEMA E1, Managing Finance in the Digital World. This is an operational level exam. It is initially examined by a 90 minute test using objective test questions and you will sit this at typically a Pearson Centre. After you have uh, passed all of your uh, operational level exams, the three of them, uh, then you will attempt the integrated case study for the operational level. This just gives us a, a very short overview of what's in this paper. First of all, we have the role of the finance function. And the finance function is divided into a number of different sections, financial accounting, management accounting, treasury, uh, uh, internal audit and you need to be aware of what each of these sections uh, is expected to do, uh, what its function is within the overall finance uh, function. There is technology in the digital world, all the new types of technology like artificial intelligence, uh, for example like blockchain technology. Uh, we have to be aware of this as accountants because uh, what it's going to do is to change our roles very uh, dramatically in the future. This data and information in the digital world, what sort of data can we now hold, what sort of information can we extract from that data, uh, all with the ambition of making our organisations more effective and more efficient. This is the shape and structure of the finance function Links, this links in a way back to B. Uh, you will see that the traditional structure of the finance function was very much a triangular shape with the, the kind of chief accountant at the top going down through the levels until at the bottom you had a, a, quite a large number of people maybe doing very routine accounting transactions. What technology does at first is to automate many of the uh, more routine transactions, so you need far fewer people at the lower levels. And therefore the shape we will see of the finance function uh, has moved from a triangular uh, shape into more of what they call a hexagonal shape. Fewer people at the top and maybe a, a bulge of people in the kind of middle where instead of dealing with routine transactions you are making use of higher skills to draw conclusions uh, from the data which is being presented to you. And finally there is uh, the finance department interacting with the organisation. How does it interact with manufacturing, where, with sales, with human resources. Uh, the finance department you can think of as almost sitting in the middle of an organisation with, with all of these kind of uh, threads going out. There's, there's very few, if any, departments in an organisation that the finance department does not get involved with in some way or another. 